Juventus aren't the only team with a new idol. Kevin Prince Boateng has just taken three games to win over the Sassuolo fans. Boateng is going to be our Cristiano Ronaldo. He'll make the difference in helping us do well in the league. He's a talented player with experience and charisma. He's a luxury for Sassuolo. I really like his attitude. He never gives up. Boateng is number one. After the international break, Serie A takes centre stage with a top-of-the-table clash. Juve Sassuolo, CR7 against the Prince. So far, Boateng has two goals to his name, while Ronaldo's yet to get off the mark. But the challenge started on social media during the summer. Cristiano Ronaldo for me is the best player in this game. Like uh, he has everything, and of course this is uh, just jokes. Like because uh, I I love him as a football player. He's like an example to all of us, and um, yeah. And then sometimes you joke about it because he's so professional. And then they made this uh, this picture, and they made one for me. So I just take it out in a fun way. But uh, I have big respect for him. At AC Milan, the prince fell for Italy and won a scudetto in 2011. He went to Germany, then Spain, but this nation has a special allure. So he returned to join Roberto De Zerbi Sassuolo. First of all, I miss the pasta. <laughs> I love pasta. No, um, I feel home in Italy, so it was an easy decision for me. First time in my life, I think it was a very easy decision. The president and the coach, especially the coach, he called me so many times and I've met him already before and I always said I wanted to work under him because I think he's a genius. And my favorite position is to play behind a striker. Now I play like a Falso Nova, like a number 10, 9, you know, like a mix. I love it. The coach sees, sees my, uh, my strength there to play in this position. We try to keep the ball and um, that's the vision of the coach. That's the modern vision of football and he's living it 100% uh, each and every day. Boateng, the last kick of the game! Boateng has great respect for Juventus boss Massimiliano Allegri, his coach at Milan. I think Allegri, um, the most impressive thing is what he did, like he grew every year more. The thing is when he started in Milan, it was for him even a big club, it was a new challenge, he came from a smaller team, but he, he knew exactly how, how to handle all the big players, like the big stars. He didn't want to go in the middle, sometimes he let them handle themselves, and I think this was, this was his main key. It's what he's doing in Juventus, the same. And like a player like Ronaldo, you don't need to teach him anything anymore, or before he had Higuain, or Pogba, or all these players, because they know how to play football. You just give them a little, little key to open the door, and then maybe they're going to be more successful. The Prince has no fear of facing his former mentor or the current kings of Serie A. There's always a way to beat uh, a better or bigger team. We just have to find a way. It's not going to be easy. Definitely we have to play the best game in our lives and they maybe have to have a bad day. So there's a, we have to have a lot of luck, but uh, it's 90 minutes of football. Anything can happen. I live my life like a king, living with no pressure. Hustling like I don't know better. Of course, it's always my way to get away from pressure or when you feel sad or whatever, it's always music. And I wanted to do music for a long, long time. It has nothing to do with football, like I want it to be a side. Of course, people will mix it, it's normal, but uh, I love music and I always wanted to make music and I think now was the right time. Keep it 100 like Mr. Mandela. Mr. Mandela. Time too, to celebrate an inspirational hero. I was lucky enough to meet Nelson Mandela one, one time and we even had a chat. So I wanted to mention them in my song because I say keep it 100 like Nelson Mandela because he's, he was in prison for so long and he was just never angry, he was just always happy. He offered me his daughter like a joke, but uh, I said I'm married and he said no, I have another one. <laughs> he thought I maybe don't like his daughter, but no, it was funny to see a person who was so long behind bars and uh, suffered so so much be still happy and do jokes you know it was was amazing and football can play a vital part in the fight against racism of course it's one of the well it's the biggest sport in the world but we still don't use it 100 percent so that's the only thing but we have to use football much much more because it's like the biggest thing everybody's looking at watching football everybody knows the players and um, there's much much more to do this player's talent and influence extends beyond the pitch. A rap sensation capable of holding court at the United Nations. 
I, I never said that when I was younger I was not a bad boy and um, I think this helped me as well to, to grow as a person. So from a bad boy to a person who speaks four languages perfect, is uh, an ambassador against racism and won some trophies so I think I didn't do so so bad. <laughs> Kevin Prince Boateng, ambassador, rapper, and now the beating heart of the new Sassuolo. Next step, taking on CR7 at the Allianz Stadium.